Hi, everyone. My name is Leslie Irvine, Vice President and Director of Athletics at Colorado College. We want you to know that we miss you all on campus and want to be a resource for you as you strive to stay active during this time of social distancing. Exercise is so critical for our physical and mental health. And this remains true during this time of social distancing. So I'm here with other members of our Alpcomar team to give you some tips and exercises that you might find useful. Some of the faces you see work day in and day out with our awesome Tiger student athletes. But don't worry, I've made them promise to not make these exercises too hard. In fact, our message is that exercise is accessible for all, even during these challenging times. So let's see what words of wisdom our CC experts have for us. Wes, you're a familiar face to many community members who take your classes during the year. What's something you're doing to stay fit while social distancing? Yeah, thanks, Leslie. Um, a big thing for me is trying to be consistent um, and have a consistent routine for my workouts. Something that's really helped me is working out at the same time each morning if I can. Um, without having access to the fitness center or any other gym, a lot of my workouts are now body weight exercises, uh, but also running and biking outdoors. Um, I know that this is a big change for a lot of people that are used to having their routines in the fitness center. Um, so to help with that, the Adam F. Press Fitness Center has put together a webpage with digital fitness resources. Um, the list of resources includes links to weekly boot camp workouts, body weight and home workout ideas, lots of online yoga, Pilates, sports training videos as well. We've been trying to update that um, weekly, um, sending out PDF boot camp workouts weekly, um, updating people weekly as we go just with new ideas, um, but different things that they can do you know, from home or even outside. Um, a lot of different workouts um, using household items is something that we've been focusing on too. So one of my favorite resources is our uh, PDF displaying 15 household items. Um, but those include you know, cans of food, water bottles, books, backpacks, brooms. Um, there's really a lot of things around your house that you can use to work out um, if you start looking at it in a different way. Um, but if anyone has questions on how to exercise from home or home equipment um, you know, resources or you know, just creating a routine at home, they can reach out to me and I'll try to help. I did want to show an exercise with a broom. Um, so let me grab that real quick. Um, good thing with most of these brooms is you can twist this off and make it an, uh, an even weight for not heavy on one side. Um, and then this can replace anything that you would do, um, you know, a dumbbell or a bar exercise with. Um, you know, here's a, a bicep curl with this. You could also do, if you were laying down, you could do a chest press or a shoulder press. You could also do a row, but you can also add weight to it, whether you have um, a backpack, this backpack here that I did, I put some books in, um, but you can add anything to it. You can also use um, reusable grocery bags and put them on the ends or in the middle as well. So for this one, I put the weight in the middle. So if you wanted to do it this way, you could have a bicep curl with weight in the middle, but you could also add the weight to the sides. You just have to make sure it doesn't slide off. You can have two bags um, on either end, and then you could do uh, more of like a chest press or a shoulder press with the weight on both sides of the bar. Thanks for that, Wes. Some really creative, simple ideas to stay active at home. So make sure to follow Wes on social if you'd like to learn more from him. Uh, Emily, you're an assistant strength coach for CC Athletics, working with all of our teams. So how has staying at home altered your fitness routine? Hi all, thanks for having me. Um, I definitely have had to get creative with my routine by utilizing different resources around my house like Wes mentioned earlier. Um, <laughs> One of my favorite modifications is squatting here with Louie and I don't think he minds very much. However, um, we've also taken this time to work on our cardio We've been getting out and running more often and exploring our neighborhood and our local parks while socially distancing, of course, um, but getting some fresh air. Um, and one of the things I found most helpful to keep myself up and at it um, is staying positive in this time of uncertainty. Um, not positive because life is easy, but positive because life is hard. Um, we can't ignore the current situation, um, but we can face it head on and have faith that the best is yet to come. So instead of moping around, I've tried to take advantage of this time to think laterally, reevaluate my goals, dive deeper into the programs that I create, um, use this quiet time to read more books and articles. So staying positive gives me a purpose to push myself to be a better person and a better coach uh, once we get back to normal. 
Um, so I'd like to challenge everyone to think outside the box and come up with something positive they can focus on um, each day and don't hesitate to reach out to the resources on the CC website and stay active and kick up a sweat. Thanks, Emily. I uh, really appreciate your words of wisdom there and, and your resilience and uh, positivity. It's awesome. So, and, and great to see Louie there as a guest star. So uh, Scott, we're excited to also have you join us today. And as one of the leading strength coaches nationally, what's one thing you would like our CC community to know? Uh, first, like Les was mentioning, having things around your house or your office that are really easy to use. Uh, I have this little band sitting right here at my desk. This is a, it's about a $9 band. Uh, there's all different places you can get them from, Perform Better, EliteFTS.com. Um, but this thing you can pick up, it's very multifunctional. So I keep this right by the desk. I can jump in with a quick little shoulder workout. All our athletes will be familiar with this one, a band pull apart. We're working on, again, all those upper back and shoulder muscles that get tight from being on our computer and our phone all day. We can do this right at our desk, open up the shoulders. Uh, we can drop it down onto the floor and step on it can do some upright, some lateral raises for our shoulders and even some upright rows here. Um, just quick little hit, 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever you can do, you can work it in a few different times a day. And like I said, this is so multifunctional and multi-use that you could have, you know, uh, a couple different bands to use throughout your workout. But like uh, Emily and Wes also, re you know, referred to, they're talking about routines or you know, all the resources that we have available. If you're looking to start new routines or continue routines that you already have, I think important things for me is keeping stuff like that on your calendar, right? We don't have a set schedule anymore. Um, we're not, we don't, we're not at school where the dining hall is open set hours and we go to practice. So it's really important to have a really set routine, whether that means writing it on a calendar, putting it in your iPhone, however you may keep track of that getting up at the same time every day. Um, another good way to either create new habits or enforce other habits is what's called stacking habits. So again, we know that we eat lunch every day uh, around noontime. So if one of my goals is to start working out at noontime, I'm gonna stack that habit onto my lunch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat lunch and then it's my workout time after that. So I'm creating the new habit, stacking it with a pre-existing habit, and it makes it just a lot easier to can make that continuation. And again, like we've said, uh, if you're looking to get into something new, you know, there's so many cool resources on that fitness page, whether it be um, some of the mind-body stuff, core power yoga, uh, Headspace has a free, I think free for like six months for students now. So there's just so much if you wanna get into being more mindful, working out, you know, setting up times to be more uh, efficient in your training. There's so many resources on that page. I would definitely check them out. Again, if you have access like Emily and I to some friends that can help you out, keep your, keep your pups handy, uh, especially if they're looking as official as Alfie is today. So she's ready to work and we're looking forward to getting back to school soon. It's a great reminder, Scott, and, and I, I definitely feel like I'm ready to get my workout on there. So thanks, Coach. Um, so as Scott mentioned, we do have resources available online that are being constantly updated. So please do check those out, and hopefully we can help you with some creative, fun ways to stay healthy during this time. Remember, we may be physically apart, but we are still here to support you. So take care and, and let us know how we can help and team on three, one, two, three, go, go Tigers. Tigers and bye.